next to the last day of spring. Summer comes Friday. This is Wednesday. At 5.42 p.m., the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, it's over 15 hours long. This is kale, mushroom, and rice. that my dear uh, adjutant Alyssa made. Hi Alyssa. Hi. And you said you wanted me to grab a piece of paper? Yes, a piece of paper and a, and a pen please. Okay. Helping others, you'll enjoy it. Happiness is guaranteed. June 17, 2020, Wednesday. And kale. No. Okay. Would you write down? Yes. The email of George Durnter. Sure. Oh, thanks. And when you go to feed the animals today, Mm -hmm. There is a twin tree to the left of the garage. Okay. It has two trunks. Mm -hmm. And if we've got the timing right, the left trunk has the biggest mushroom you have ever seen. It's this big. Oh, really? Maybe somebody has eaten it already. Hmm. It is a beautiful mushroom okay. every year. I'll take a look at it. Alright, so I'm going to take one of the phones and look up George's email. No. Oh, go to the computer. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm going to look. I think it's you have it on the phone, right? Oh, well, I have it on the computer. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose. And folks, William, Wisconsin, Willow, everybody says he is a joy to see, that his trunk is four inches, and he's just loaded with greenery, and he's taller than they are. And remember, he came to us a stick. He came to our FedEx in a long box, a stick. There wasn't a bit of greenery on him. And Sandy Blakeman and Andrew McGain planted him in the ground for me. And horticulturist Tracy Clegg, my neighbor at three, four houses over, and our librarian, our director of the library says, you water that Glendora two gallons a day. Can you imagine carrying out two gallons of water a day? And I did, and I watered them every day of the first summer. And it was the thing to do. Hmm. Where are you over here, honey? Uh, I'm sitting opposite you. Okay, you got the computer? I found his email on one of your phones. And is it George Durnford 
3760? Uh, 3760 at Comcast.net? Yes. Okay. Now, would you please go to the email of Mary Taylor? Transforming a new. Excuse me. Transforming a new. I don't know, honey. Okay, I think so. Thank you for this delicious lunch. No problem. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Next time I'll try to cook the kale a little longer and cut it smaller. Oh, that would solve it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. I found her email. What do you want me to do with the, these emails? I would like you to send it to George Durnford. Sure. Isn't it wonderful to know how to do these things? Where do I look for the camera, huh? Um. Where do I look that way, this way, this way, or that way? That way. Which way? Okay. Oh, yeah. No, um, imagine a clock towards uh, 8 o'clock. I don't look this way. No. Do yes, I look this way? Yes, to your way? left. Yep. Right. Yep, perfect. That's where you look? Yes. Hi, folks. No eyesight, but 92. No doctors and no medicine. Now, would you draw a line? Uh, on the paper? Yes. Sure. Has the email gone? Not yet. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. 73 yeah, really degrees. Warm. Okay, draw a line. Yes, is that one done? The email has been sent, yes. Excellent. Now, would you go to BNN, their email? We want you to have it, the peace that passes understanding, helping others, you'll enjoy it, satisfaction guaranteed. Um, and are we sending that email to George as well? Would you please? Sure. And did you write it on your paper? Yes. I mean, did you write Mary Taylor's? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And now you're writing BNN. Is it maybe John Connor? No longer, honey. No. James O'Connor has left. No, uh, will that change? His, will that change? That changes the email then. Then that does change it. Yes. Then leave it. Leave it for John O'Connor. Leave it the way it is. Do you want me to send it to George or no? Let me go over it again. Uh, you told me that it's in the name James O'Connor. Mm -hmm. And I told you that James has left. Yes. He had a baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm saying, as it is, send it to George okay. Durnford.
James O'Connor? I don't know. I'm j all I know is to say to you, send it as it is. Okay. Thank you. The little girl said, Mommy, we had a fire in school today. Mommy says, that's dreadful. The little girl says, eh, we've been rehearsing for it all year. Uh, uh, all right, now would you go to... Uh, David Keenan. David Keenan. And the TV station is Trenton, but his address is Port Murray, New Jersey. So I don't know what to tell you to do to, for that. I see an email for him. Is that what yeah. we want? Yes. That, you have his email? Yes. Excellent. Write it on your paper, please, and send sure. it to... With God we go, with God we go, to spread the joy of life, to spread the joy of life. Now we're up to number four, huh? Uh, well, we did Mary Taylor, James O'Connor, and David Keenan. So, yep, number four. Okay, thanks. Would you go to Highlands? Highlands. And, um... Victor. What is, what is his last name? Uh, I'm not sure. It uh, doesn't say. It shows an email, but it doesn't say a last name. But you've got his email, right? Yes. Oh, if you would send that, please, to Mr. Dernford. Yes, I'm going to tell you a funny joke. Mm -hmm. You. Alyssa. Yeah. Because you've done four. Okay. I'm going to tell you a funny joke. Harry said, I don't want to go to school today. And his mother said, well, you have to go to school today. Harry says, the kids don't like me. The teachers don't like me. Even the... Custodians have it in for me. His mother says, you're going to school today. You have a lot to contribute. You have a lot to learn. And besides, you're 45 years old and the principal. Uh, hmm. Now, would you please go to Mount Vernon? And it might be under the name Michael Thomas. Mount Vernon, New York. Hmm. 
You do not see it? Let me just check this other one. Michael Thomas. No. Uh -huh. Can you think of anything else? Hmm. No, I'm not sure. Oh. I saw Vernon, but there was just a phone number. Just a phone number, uh huh? Can you call it there? Sure. Hold on one second. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial oh. again. Announcement. Would you please give it another try? And, and you did it under Vernon, right? Location. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, no? Okay. Would you please look up the number for Mount Vernon High School, Mount Vernon, New York? Sure. This is number five. Okay, how would you, what one would you, you want their email, so would you go to administration? Um, maybe. Maybe main office, general mail, mailbox? Oh, they're trying to transfer the call, I guess. Whatever you think, honey. Huh? Can you try another one where we might get a person? If you know your call is extension, you may dial it at any time. The access and a dial by name directory, press 9. Thank you for calling. Dial your active first name, then press pound. For Q, press 7. For D, press 9. For help, press 0. Do you know what department the person works in? Excuse me? Do you know what department the person works in? Do you know where in the school they work? So on California Road, is that what you mean? No, what, uh, what department the, the person that you're trying to reach works in at the school? It would be uh, TV. Uh, TV instruction, learning television instruction. Okay. Um, would you like to 
call City Hall and ask City Hall what their email is. Okay. You think that would work? I don't know. Hmm. You press three? No, for some reason it ended the call, but I guess we can call back again. What are you going to do? Thank you for contacting call the city of Mount Vernon. In compliance with Governor Andrew's executive order, effective. to cable cast it. The email of the TV studio. Could you give me the email of the TV studio so we can send them our TV program to cable cast? I'm sorry, what, what TV show? What TV studio? I'm sorry. Uh, you remember, do you remember Jerry Casella? No, I do not. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, you have a TV, uh, you cablecast public access for the city of Mount Vernon. Right. And uh, we need their email so we can yeah. send them. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'll give you the email to the communications department. Oh, is that what you call it? Oh, that will be very yeah. nice. Thank you. Okay. You're uh, welcome. Let me know when you're ready to take it down. Uh, this is my friend Alyssa. Alyssa, can you take it down, dear? Hi, we're ready. Okay, so it's press. Okay. At, at CMV, as in City Mount Vernon, NY.com. Press at CMVNY.com. That's correct. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Is that uh, Michael Thomas? Is he the fellow still in charge, Michael Thomas? No, um, the new mayor is actually a female. Her name is Mayor Sean Patterson Howard. Oh, could we write that down, please? Sure. Uh, will you spell the first name for me? Sure. S-H-A-W-Y-N. Thank you. I'm going to tell you a joke because you helped us. Are you ready? Sure, go for it. Uh, com <laughs> computers are in the Bible. Eve said to Adam, do you want an apple too? <laughs> That's funny. 
Oh, it's good to hear you laugh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, my name is Glendora. Nice to meet you. And thank you. And your name was what? My name is Kalia. Oh, you helped us so much. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You both take care. You too. Bye bye. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Well, good for you, Alyssa. Yeah. You brought that one home. Okay. So we want to send that to. Oh George yes, as well. please. Excuse, yes, to Mr. Durnford? Okay. Yes, please. And that's number five, isn't it? Yes, I think so. I'm enjoying your rice, honey. Oh, good. And what is the name of the new person, huh? Um, she gave us the name of the mayor of Mount Vernon. The mayor's name is Shauna Patterson Howard. Sean Patterson Howard. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. The next one, are you ready for number six, hon? Hold on one second. Okay. Okay, go for it. <laughs> uh. Do we have Highlands yet? We've done Highlands, right? Mm-hmm. Have we done David Keenan? Yes. Yep, that one we did. Excuse me? That one we did. Well, thank you. No problem. I'm trying to think, Bobby. We're going for number six. Uh... Portland, Oregon, uh, under Metro East, it would be under Metro East, one word. Of the email? Mm -hmm. Lauren Colton? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. To whom? Mr. Durford? Yes. Number six. Alright, next one. Oh, you're speedy. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Can. Can. C A N T V. Which stands for Chicago Access Network. M. The name of the person is Leslie Johnson.
You don't find it? I found it, yes. I sent it. What would you say? I'm ready for the next one. Oh! Would that be number eight? Um... Number seven? Yep, number eight. Number eight? Mm-hmm. It would be uh, Karen Beasley, DC TV. DC TV standing for the District of Columbia. Columbia, DC TV. Uh, programming? Yes, baby. Do you have an email? Yes. You do? Mm hmm. Well, then, definitely. Okay. Ready for the last one? Mm hmm. Nine. Would you dial Los Alamos? Uh, looks like we have an email here. I can dial it, but there's, there's an email. There's an email? Yeah. Well, how fortuitous. So we don't have to call them? No. Is the name of the person Jean Lewitsky? Um. Or no name, huh? It just says Los Alamos. Uh-huh. Good enough. Okay. That's that. That's that. And now you have a nice list. Mm -hmm. And could you put that in think folder too? Sure. Hold on one second. I'm just going to write down this last one. Now, would you call Mr. Durnford and tell him the great deed that you just did? Sure. And think folder too? Yes, please.
Sheila's son, Glendora. Yes, what's up? I uh, was just calling to let you know we sent you some emails with uh, contact info for different TV personnel. For the Dropbox. For Dropboxes. Good, 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 good. Okay, thank you. By the way. Oh, uh, George, we, George, we just sent them this moment. They just went out this moment. itself to the soap dish adamantly. Oh, I can't get it out. So I had to call in resources and Alyssa's here with a knife uh, to see if she can extricate it. And I'm going to try to hold the camera. Could you hold me? Remember now folks, I can't see. No eyesight. So I'm going to try to hold the camera so you can watch. Alyssa, there you go. could you tell me? And then can I do, do I just press a button? Uh, it's already going. Oh, good. There we go. No kidding, you got it? Yeah. Was it difficult? No, it wasn't too difficult. But it oh. was pretty stuck on there. Oh, thank you. This is uh, Glenny's bathroom in which very, very keen meditation occurs. Folks, this is Glenny's refrigerator. Does it look bare to you? Probably. But that's because Glenny eats only Triscuits and apple juice and tomato juice and grape juice. What, it, I'll put it in the freezer. What was that? That was two frozen loaves of very expensive wheat bread, right? Um, there's one and I put the other one in the fridge. And there's some almond milk. And there's something... We need to unfreeze that almond milk. Um... Do we need almond milk? No, you have some down here. Okay, good. And is there some, uh, a dish up there? Um... Freezer? I, there is a small Tupperware. Yeah, could you put that out to thaw and I'll try and eat that? Sure. And then, uh... Oh, it's blueberries. Oh, yes, I would like to eat those. Please. Okay. These are frozen green wild blueberries. They're very tiny and frozen. They're really candy. They are delicious. What's down in the refrigerator? There's some sugar. Yeah, you have a thing oh, of sugar. 
Earth balance, jelly. right? Um, yep, Earth balance. Uh, Alyssa, tell the people about Earth balance. Um, well, Earth balance is a vegan butter like spread. This one's made with vegetable oil, canola oil, palm oil, uh, saffron flower, flax, olive oil, water, salt, pea protein, natural flavor, sunflower, lectin, lactic acid, and amanto acid, or uh, amanto extract. But it's vegan, it's gluten free, non dairy, soy free, lactose free. And I think they taste pretty good. They make a couple oh, I different think it ones. Very good. Yeah. You think it's safe for us to eat all those ingredients or all those um, ingredients? There are only like two things that I'm not sure. Maybe one thing that I'm not sure what it is. Like the safflower and the and a toe extract, but I don't think. And then it says natural flavors, but they don't specify what that is. No, but I think it is, is natural flavors. What's that mean? Maybe spices that they don't like that they're not a lot of, so they oh, okay. didn't list the all of them. You know, if they only use some real small amounts, I'm not sure though. And tell the folks a list of the lovely uh, rice that you brought, plenty for lunch. Um, I brought a dish with kale and mushrooms and a bunch of wild rice and jasmine rice. And you have a salt in there that tastes very good. Is it just regular sodium chloride? No, it's uh, pink Himalayan sea salt actually. Very good. Yeah, maybe that's, yeah. Say it again, Virginia dear. What is it? Uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. Oh yeah, it's excellent. <sighs> and um, and then peanut butter sandwiches. Mm -hmm, yep, you got some peanut butter sandwiches uh, in here. What kind of bread is it that you buy me? Uh, this is from a local bread company. This is bread alone. It's the nine mixed grain. And it's organic bread. And this one has like got a whole bunch of, since it's nine grain, it's got a whole bunch of different things besides oh, yeah. wheat flour. Yeah. But you haven't tried that one yet. Well, uh, okay, I like the one that we're eating now. Yeah, it's a soft, regular bread. I think that one's a white bread. Okay, could you pause the camera, please? Sure. Right Folks, we don't, uh, we can't have mice in the house. Uh, it, I, I'll feed the mice, I'll be happy to feed the mice, but they've got to be fed outdoors. Mice and houses don't mix. It's lots of problems. So everything in here is in a canister, uh, a tightly closed canister in the cupboard. All cookies, all crackers, all cereals are protected by the canister. All right, you want to pause the camera? Okay, so on top of the can to the right, I pulled off a rag, and then inside... These are the pails under the sink, honey? Yes. They're more clean cloths. Oh, could you leave those out, please? The sure. clean cloths. Um, and then there are some Ziploc bags. A Ziploc bag? Mm-hmm. Uh, would you leave that out, please? Sure. And there is another Earth Balance container, empty container. Uh, either throw that away or give it to the people for a refrigerated dish. Okay. And then that one is empty. And that's empty? Yes. That's the one on the left? That was the one to the right. Okay, thanks, hon. And then in the one to the left, um, there's an empty spray bottle. Yes, that's a good spray bottle, and it belongs to Esther Raphael. More dish detergent? Uh, great big one? Uh, yeah, fairly big, yep. A medium, okay. 
There's some copper sponges and steel wool sponges. Oh, uh, scrubbers, right? Yes, yep. And one big plastic sponge, not scrubber. A scrubber, uh-huh. And another uh, filter for the sink. Uh, catch to catch food from going down the drain. Oh, oh, dish drainer? Okay. Yes. Can I put these things back in this bucket? Oh, yes, and thank you very much. No problem. This is the most agreeable stove, folks. Do you see the top of it? See that white porcelain uh, plate? It lifts up and it has two arms that hold it up. And you, you pull out the uh, burners, the electric burners, and you scrub the uh, burners and you hold on to the electric part so you don't get it wet. And then you throw away the collars. You throw away the collars. Every year you get new collars. And then uh, in the old stoves, all of the debris would fall down uh, from the burners and go on to a piece of bare tin or steel and get rusty and dirty and awful, but not this stove. It has a beautiful, smooth enamel plate underneath all of those burners so that it's a breeze and it's fun to clean it up. And the oven, uh, Lisa, could you show them the oven? Sure, I'm just going to roll this out of the way, okay? Sure. It's right in front of you. All right. The oven, it's so easy to clean it. There's a button up there that says you press the button and you pull out the crank. Does the camera pick up a picture of the crank? Mm-hmm, I think so. And, uh, and it tells you to uh, come back in, what was it, four hours and 20 minutes? Oh, I don't remember exactly. It gets very, very hot, like 500 degrees. So first of all, if there's anything in the oven any oil or debris or crumb or anything like that, make sure you get it out because it will smoke. But then it's old enough to smoke. Uh, and then uh, it rings <clears throat> at four hours and 20 minutes and then you wait just a minute. And uh, then what did you do, Alyssa? You pressed it in and out? In and yeah. Out. Uh, pushed it in and to the left, I think. Yeah. And then the, the door does it show how clean it is? Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Yeah. Pause. Going with all the... Uh, excuse your me. Your shirts and pants. Could I change that? Could I change that? Could you take... Let's do... Okay. Five. Four. Oops, sorry. Three. Two. This is the hat room. These are all of the hats that we have so much fun with, folks, you and I. I think there are 55 hats. The collection keeps growing um, by attrition because people see Glendora and they see a hat or they're cleaning out a garage or they're cleaning out the cellar and they bring the hat to Glendora. How old is the collection? Oh, it must be 20 years, 30 years old. Is there anything you want to tell them, Alyssa, about the hats? Mm -hmm. Well, this is most of the hats are here in the hat room, but there are also quite a few, which I'll show to the camera now, in this corner here, along with matching gloves. Oh, thank you for... Including those, yeah. Wearing hats is fun. And mm -hmm. you know, when Glendora goes out, like for instance to Walmart, there will be three or four people who will say, oh, I like your hat. And particularly men. Men like women in hats. And Glendora likes men in hats. Mm -hmm. I like to see a man wear a hat. I think hats are lots of fun. And it gives somebody something to look up. It gives somebody something to look at instead of my face. Oh. <laughs> Pause.
And here are some more costumes, folks. Here are the starch shirts. And up on the top shelf, what do you see? You see the snowman outfit. And you see the polar bear outfit. And then there's the summer pants, the white pants, and then the other summer pants, the color pants. The top box is socks in the middle. And the middle box in the middle is short underwear. And the bottom box is long underwear. And the boxes to the right are gloves, filled with gloves. Can you lift the uh, <laughs> cover, honey? Those ones are socks. Oh, you're going to have the socks. The yeah. gloves, the uh, box on the right. Lots of gloves. No? No. Maybe they're put in there backwards. What is on the right, honey? There's socks and then there's scarves, maybe? Yes, yeah, scarves, that's right. And in the bottom box, folks, is Franklin's teddy bear. Oh my gosh. 101 years old. And we ought to get him out. He's Teddy Red Sweater is his name. Oh, and he's wearing a suit. And he's, he, oh, he's wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. You want me to hold the camera while you get him out? I have him right here. Do you want to hold him? I'll hold him. Here he here is. He, <laughs> bless his heart. He's as old as Franklin is. Mm. And this is his, have I got him right? Which? He's facing you. There. Is that facing the camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teddy Red Sweater. Aww. His, uh, Franklin's mother knit him a little red sweater at <laughs> one time. Sweet. Here he is, a hundred and one years old teddy bear. Aww. Now over here, what do you see on this table, folks? <clears throat> Lots of bread. <laughs> Ten loaves of bread. And another box here. Is this where the gloves are, maybe? Yes, tell us about that, Lizzie. Oh, no. Yeah, here. Some gloves, but also t-shirts in this box. And socks. Maybe these are clean clothes to be worn. Oh, those are, that's our new laundry to put away, dear. Oh, okay. Here, folks. Let's see. The laundry for a, a Sunday when we take the, when we have our shower. Okay. Are you going to have a shower, Teddy Red Sweater? No? No, you don't need a shower. Mm. Uh, so I was going to tell you about the bread, Alyssa. Uh, the bread at Walmart is 80, is it 87, 89? I'm not exactly sure. Bread at Walmart is 89 cents, a loaf of bread. And you want to know, folks, it is better than the bread that you buy at Family Dollar for a dollar and a quarter. Let me say that again. This 89 cent bread is better quality and better taste, better texture than the dollar 25 cent bread that you buy at Family Dollar. And it, you know what? When I started to do this, it was 67 cents a loaf. Imagine that, Alyssa. 67 mm. cents mm. a loaf. And what do we do? We give two loaves of bread every day to whom, Melissa? To the birds and the, the animals. Birds. Yep. Yep. Every day. Okay, pause. Now this cooler is the Ambry. You know what an Ambry is, folks? A-M-B-R-Y? It's a cupboard. And the, um, when you, once you open a package, you have to make sure the food goes into a cylinder. But you make sure that the unopened packages are covered up with the cooler so the mice won't get confused. And so those are the unopened packages of mice food that it would be if you didn't take care of it. Pause. And what do you see here? All of the costumes that you've seen on TV for years. I think there are altogether 26 costumes. And they're all color coordinated. Every blazer has a hat that matches it, a tie that matches it, and a pair of gloves that matches it. Uh, Alyssa, do you see a, toward the right end, do you see a turquoise blazer? Yes. Could you hand it to Glennie? Because that's going to be the one we wear this week. 
Okay. And these are all color coded. Thank you. No problem. The, the I can look at the color code and say what week it is. It's very helpful. And then do you see the peach one that's on the doorknob? Mm hmm That goes where the turquoise one was. Okay. And we take them in the order that they appear. That also helps us tell which video was done which time and about what subject. So let's pause. Yeah, go into our hat room. There are ten columns here and four rows per column. And uh, the one that you're looking at in the far corner, that's a very important one. That bottom box is the SS Glendora. All those pictures and the promotional material and the publicity and the stories. And on top of that are two of Franklin's uh, newspaper articles. He was a reporter for the Buffalo Evening News and a very good writer. And he would come home at night and he would cut out the articles that he had written in that day's paper, newspaper, and he would paste them in three-ring notebooks. And he has about, in each box there's about ten notebooks, three-ring notebooks, eight and a half by eleven, and he has about seven of those boxes, so he has about seventy boxes full of uh, newspaper clippings that he wrote. And above that is uh, vegan labels. And in column two, it used to be the Kinder Hooks because Kinder Hooks plays a chat with Glendora for two hours, Monday through Friday, every week. And above that, there was uh, braces, knee braces and ankle braces and wrist braces. And above that, there were winter pants. And above that, there's two sweaters, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, the top... Uh, Let's see, top what is ring. the top? And then there's the hangers that my mother... Could you show them one of my mother's hangers, like here? Sure. I'll hold it up for you. My mother put yarn around all these hangers. And they make your clothes stay on the hanger. My mother, Edna, loves wholesome. And then in column three is sweaters. Oh, that's where Kinderhook is. The other ones were braces. And then column four uh, will be archives. Archives of a chat with Glendora. Uh, 13,200 programs. And they're on... Uh, VH, they're on DCD, DVD, they're on DVD. They were on VHS, they were on 8mm, but we transferred them all to DVD. My goodness. And the fifth column is the medicine chest and uh, bandages, ace bandages, and archives. The sixth column more archives, way, way back, 1970, 1960, 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, and up to uh, 2019. Uh, column 8 uh, has a box of audio cassettes, and they are journals. Uh, Glendora got to the point where she couldn't see to read or write, uh, but long before she got totally blind, but she couldn't see to write, so she had to start keeping the journal on a uh, micro cassette, and then she changed to uh, Olympus. The Olympus will record 1,500 hours of audio. And then there are many more vegan labels and archives. Do you have any questions, Alyssa? Mm, it's 
Just how do you remember what's in every box? It's very <laughs> impressive to me. Well, I I faked it considerably, but I mm -hmm. do have an index there. Yeah, that's true. I do have an index, and it's available. It's out in the Think folder. Yeah. No, it isn't. It's in column one, uh, row one. The index oh, yeah. is there, folks. Well, thank you. And that's a tour of the uh, hat room. And you are in Happy House 3. Happy House 2 was in Ghent on Route 66 opposite the Bartlett Hotel. And uh, Happy House 1 was in Stuyvesant uh, Kinderhook. And you have many videos of that, folks. All of the things you've seen here, the history, is on video, on the archives. Anything else, Alyssa, or we, before we leave the uh, hat room? Mm, I think we're all set. What do you think? Well, I think you did a great job, and it couldn't have been possible without you. Aw, thank you. Here is your... Four, three, two. This you don't need a picture of, folks. You see it every day. This is the great big hard work desk that is 12 feet by 4 feet. And um, these are drawers 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and 12. Someday we'll give you a tour of those. Uh, the vice president's chair is over toward the wall, and that's where the computer is and the Epson printer. Uh, and Bunny's hard working desk is right where you see all the food. And behind that is the desk that goes along the windows. And then you see the gloves and the hats that Alyssa was telling you about. And then you see the window. And out of that window each morning we feed the birdies a couple of slices of bread. That's in addition to feeding the birdies behind the garage. And Alyssa's going to show you that later when she does it. Now, let's see. Could we go to the electronics? Sure. Bench? Uh, this is the electronics bench, the monitor, the great, great, great big monitor wore out, and it's over in the museum in the section called electronics that don't work anymore. Uh, and there you see, uh, is it eight uh, DVD recorders? Yep. Uh, they're combos. They're half VHS. Now, isn't that something? And we haven't seen VHS since 2000. Seven, but there they are. I never should have bought them. I just should have bought DVD recorders. But then I did use a VHS somewhat. Uh, and next to that is a lamp. And next to that are the ashes of my darling Franklin Fuller Buell, my husband for 48 years, my connubial joy, my conjugal bliss. And next to that are the JVC Jersey camera with all the lovely attachments and next to that is the Canon camera and next to that is a box of cell phones uh, that are still used as reference. Uh, they, they uh, well, I bought better cell phones and uh, but these other ones you don't throw away because they are reference. There's still information in them. And then there's quite a few hand cameras there. And then Alyssa. Alyssa's going to tell you, uh, well, pause. We're at the electronics bench. And you're going to tell us what all those wonderful packages are. All uh, these packages are the shows that we wrapped up and addressed to different TV stations. Um, to be mailed out for the August to September shows for 2020. And what are some of the TV stations, Alyssa? Uh, this is Staten Island. Um, this one is Kinderhook, New York. This is another more for Kinderhook. They're, actually, this whole stack is for Kinderhook. Um, this is for... Altice TV in Hop Hog, New York. This is going to Hartford, Connecticut. Gosh. 
um, all the United States, West Hartford, right? Connecticut, yeah, all over. Alyssa, well, was it was a lot of hard work, don't you think? Yeah. And do you know, Alyssa, this is the first day in eleven days that you and I have not had to sit down at the electronics bench and make TV shows. Yeah. Dubs. We're talking about duplicates. Tell them, Melissa, about the uh, Pro Duplicator. Okay, well, um, this is the Pro Duplicator right here. And when it's plugged in, you can turn it on, and these drawers were, will open, and you'll load the disc that you want to make copies of into the first DVD slot, and then you'll put in the number of discs that you want to duplicate. So you can put in up to six in this machine and they'll do it at once and so far for doing our half hour to two hour Alyssa, how long DVDs, does it take to make a two hour dub? About eight minutes. It seems yeah. like it takes eight yeah. to ten minutes. And the total number of dubs is six at once. Yes, and we made folks in eleven days and Timothy, we mustn't forget Timothy Owen because he was a mm -mm big part of yep. this. Uh, the three of us made a, a hundred and eighty-five half-hour TV shows and to mail to seventy-five TV stations from Boston to San Diego to be cable cast the month of August and to be repeated the month of September. Isn't that it, Alyssa? Yep. Yes. And Alyssa, do you know that we're, they do not have to be mailed out until the third week of July, because they're not going on the air until August. Ah, uh, okay. They're not going on the cable until August. Yeah. Listen, you know that we don't have to make any dubs for five weeks? Nice. That's because of you hmm. and Timmy and the duo duplicator. Nice. Do you want to turn your camera around here and sure. we will be in the sanctuary? Sure. Alyssa just passed Three, there's three tripods all together, and there's a, uh, how many camcorders do we have? We have a Canon camcorder, we have a JVC camera 4, we have JVC camera 2, JVC camera 3 I loaned to Suzanne McCormick and Hastings on Hudson to tell the terrible story of all the courts, lawyers, and uh, clerks. Courts, lawyers, courts, judges, how they stole the inheritance that her husband left her of $25 million. And then we have a uh, JV Jersey camcorder. Is that all, honey? Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Just about, maybe. We got JVC Jersey. Yep. And Canon. Yep. And the three JVC. Uh, the Vario cameras? Yeah, the Varios, 4, yeah. 3, and 2. Yeah. I think that's all I know of, at least. Now, there are some old cameras back there, even smaller than these, uh, that I told you about in that miscellaneous box. Mm -hmm. uh, Alyssa, what is in the bottom drawers? Drawers uh, uh, 3, 4, and 5. Is that electronics? Um, yeah, in 3 there are blank DVDs. And, oh, now there are some DVD sleeves that we didn't have before. And there are some uh, archives of the show and some duplicates of, uh, or no, actually, the discs 1 through 15, I think, were up well, to Well, mostly now. it's cables, isn't it? In 3, it's just those DVDs. In drawer 5, though, there's a big box of cables. <laughs> Phone, uh, phone chargers, camera chargers, audio visual. Why are you so good at this? You don't have a great deal of experience with uh, DVD video, do you? Um, not really. I have some experience doing theatrical tech for oh. plays and musicals and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, but... This isn't your field. Your field is really theater, isn't it? Yeah. But does this help you? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's good. Okay, folks, over here is the sanctuary.
the sanctuary. Please have a sanctuary. A place all year long where you can go and it is quiet and you can hear. You can hear the great universe, the great God, the great creation and reach into that great God mind, intellect that can conceive of something called life. We don't know what it is. It's way beyond our understanding. Life. Life. It starts with conception and a sperm and an egg. And the next thing you know, you have an individual, a cell, and then many cells and organs. And then after nine months, out comes a beautiful, beautiful creation. A baby! Life and all that it can do. And then you have babyhood and childhood and you have teenhood and you have young adulthood and then you have adulthood and then it starts all over again. All the things that you can medicate and these, um, did I say medicate? I'm sorry, meditate. Meditation beats medication any day. And this is where all of the where I hear or anyway the information comes to me as to what to do next on this tremendous outlay of creativity called a chat with Gondora. The ship. We make believe it's a ship. And Alyssa keeps it running mm -hmm. for us. And kept it from going to the bottom of the ocean too a couple months ago. Well, do you think we've omitted anything, dear? No, I think we did pretty good. Okay, again, this is the Happy House 3. And this is the ship Makey's called Making TV Shows. When Glendor was uh, 23 years old in the year 1951, she took a vow that she would do TV shows. And uh, 13,000 public access shows later, it's still going on. And before there, then, before that, there was broadcast TV, and that was five shows a day for six years. Five shows Monday through Friday for six years. Think how many shows that was. Well, what can I say? It's a grand effort of an enormous number of people, an enormous brothers and sisters, and we all work together. And we all put it together, the TV stations and the personnel in the TV stations, the cable companies, the broadcast TV companies, we all work together to get, in this particular instance, to get out this theme. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Remember, others includes animals. Remember. How did you treat animals? Be vegan. And the last thing to remember is no self. No S-L-E-F. It's we. We're all together. We're one. Don't try to separate yourself from the universe and think that you're different or better. You are not. We are all one. We are all working together. And we're all some of God. May the God of peace himself sanctify all of us completely through and through. Amen. to be 
on television on our uh, Glendora Vegetarian Club anytime you want and talk about your lovely products. And we'd also uh, like to invite you to be part of our campaign on TV uh, telling about uh, vegan products and definitely about Amy's. That, of course, costs money, though, because we spent about $55,000 on uh, TV advertising for uh, vegan products, including Amy's. Well, that's good. And did I understand that you did send me something by a, a chat with Glendora at gmail.com? If you didn't, if you could, it would be lovely. And the little girl says, Mommy, they had a fire in school today. We had a fire in school today. Mommy, that's dreadful. Little girl, well, we've been rehearsing for it all year. Hmm. <laughs> Can erase it? To erase it, yes, message please. press 7. Message erased. Next message sent yesterday, Tuesday, June Are you comfortable? 16th mm -hmm. Thank you. at 12.06 p.m. from 8609467723. Duration 40. Would you stand by to write down his number? Sure. Eight six zero. Eight six zero. I'm responding to the first one there. And the second one is beautiful because you were on TV. This is good and you are very good on TV. Oh, and today Alyssa and I are going to send you $50 or tomorrow. And that will take care of our, our three copies of your nice album. Oh, I think this is grand. You're doing the right thing, Dave. Keep creating. Keep building. Keep with a hammer and nail, and if it's not a hammer and nail, then with your uh, music. Good for you, Dave King. All set? All set. <laughs> Thank you. Your message has been sent. To now, should I delete it? Seven. Yes. To send a reply message, press... I think that was it for new message ones. Erased. Next message. Oh. Maybe, no, yesterday, maybe not. Tuesday, June 16th. Well, it's yesterday, so we'll be the last time. She didn't get into uh, eight o'clock or something. Oh my goodness. with your loyalty and your dedication and your faithfulness way into the night Sandy it was eight o'clock and bless you that was a noble thing you did and I wish to thank you uh, here's a school joke for you a uh, mummy we had a fire in school today mummy that's dreadful and little girl yeah but we've been rehearsing for it all year 
Erase them all. To send your, thank you. Your message has been sent. Message erased. End of new messages. To listen to your messages, press 1. To send a message, uh, press 2. To change your personal we'll option, four, please. press 4. To this personal option, to change administrative options, press 2. To record greetings, three. press 3. Press 3. For page notification, greetings. To change your personal greeting, press 1. Press 1. To create your extended absence greeting, press to select a standard greeting with your telephone number, press 1. To select a standard greeting with your name, press 2. Personal greeting, press 3. Press 3. To exit, press star. Your greeting has been recorded as... I want to hear this, honey. Hi, everybody. Friends, Pat and Sandy have uh, resolved some of the phone programs. problems. I have a line now. It's a landline that you can call me on 5 one eight. so that I can <laughs> know what person to call. Has that been working for you? Oh, it has. Oh, good. That, you don't know what a difference that makes in my life. Good. I'm Please so grateful for that. Press out. You have one minute remaining. Press out. Press out. to the, um... No. Would you... Do, oh, yeah, what were you going to say? Did you want to listen to the greeting on that one? No, because it's the same. Right? Okay, yeah, so I think we checked it before. I think we're doing right, right, on the greeting. I think so. Okay, what's next? Uh, what's next is, uh, would you dial Lynn Staten? Sure. Staten, I got your message. Thank you for thinking of us. Yes, I would use that landline if I were you. Just remember that I don't walk very fast. 
Oh, here, she's answering. Hello? Hey, how are you? Oh, good. I, I got just a second to thank you for, for your call. Uh, did, uh, did you, uh, publish any more books? Well, um, I'm still writing, but my two favorites, you know, you know, I did Painted Blue, and that's how to deal with bullies and being successful, right? And the other one is, how dare she say that? And that's a whole long story. But uh, no, I'm still writing. Um, when are you going to publish your next book? Uh... That, that is a blank, honey. That is a blank. The answer, the answer to that is a line blank, a blank line. Uh, do you see the, do you see the turkeys? Um, yes, I had five or six new babies. So oh. we did see turkeys a couple days ago. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, those little ones are cute. The little girl says, Mommy, we had a... The girl says, Mommy, we had a fire in school today. Mommy says, that's dreadful. And the little girl says, well, we've been rehearsing for it all year. Ah, uh, that's funny. Okay, honey. Take so care. What have you been up to? So, so well, what have you been up to, Randy? Well, uh, Alyssa's here. She's uh, uh, the set of eyes, the eyeballs that gets the work done, honey. Okay. You, you know what I mean? It's her, it's her vision that gets the work done. Okay. Uh, and we got out, and along with Timothy Owen, we got out uh, 185 TV shows for 75 TV stations, Boston to San Diego, for August. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Yes, yes, it is, honey. So that's what we've been doing. And the first thing we got, I got... It is certainly does. It airs in San, it doesn't air. It's cable cast in San Francisco. Oh, in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. All right, sweetie. I'll see you later. Grace and peace. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Nice. Don't save it. Okay. That's it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Wasn't that great? Mm-hmm. Now, would you go to the, your contacts that you did and start way up at the A's? I think there's some cleaning up that we can do. Okay. Um. Aging. Uh, pass. Aging two. 
Piss. Aging Vinny. Piss. Uh, AIC Nick. Piss. Albany Library. Piss. Alber. Alber. Yes. Would you dial that, please? Mm-hmm. And what is that number, dear? Um, five one eight four two nine zero one zero six. Yes. Uh, the number is no good, but would you leave the name? Sure. Uh, Altice, Long Island. Pass. American Vegan Society. Pass. Amy's. Pass. Angela. Dial. Uh, yes, dial, please. You want to hear a joke? 
No, uh, I can tell you jokes to cheer you up. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harry says, I don't want to go to school today. The kids don't like me. The teachers don't like me. Even the custodians have it in for me. And his mother says, you're going to school today. Uh, you have much to learn and you have much to contribute. And besides, you're 45 years old and the principal. <laughs> Yes, I know, Lori. How is she? She's pretty good. She's pulling around somewhere. I'll tell her that joke. Yeah, that's good, honey. We wish you the best. All right, keep calling. You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would. Well, okay. I intend to. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. Now, who, who was that, honey? Oh, I didn't hear his name. Yeah, but what was the... Oh, Animals yeah. Albany. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, that's good. I think we were on Bethlehem TV. Oh, good, yes. Uh, Beth Ann Smith? Yes. Uh, excuse me, Betty Ann no, Smith? No, we're going to call Bethlehem. Here. Okay. And, uh... Oh, it was wanna... just a email for Bethlehem TV. Ah! Send it to... Oh, get out... Would you get out your email list there? Sure. And would you put it down? Sure. And then would you send it to Mr. Derma? Sure. Honey, this is the first day in 11 days that we haven't had to make videos. Yeah, it's nice to get a break from that. I think it is, and to catch mm -hmm. up on this. Okay. That's all set. What'd you say? That is all set. I sent it to George, and I wrote it down on my list. That quickly? Mm-hmm. You're a whiz, kid. Mm -hmm. All right, next is Betty Ann Smith. Ah, uh, that email you just sent was, I still would like to call that number, uh, Bethlehem Library. Okay, are we going to try to look up, um... No, well, it, is it, in, is it, it, it a number? Only, a, a email. Uh, no, you told me that if we erase that, Yes, it'll still appear in the email. But do we want to erase email? Well, no, I would leave it in the phone. Yes. Okay, next. Um, BH7. Repeat, dear. BH7. I think that might... I would try it. I don't think it's any good. There's no phone number. There's no email. Try it. Ring it. There's no, there's no phone number or email. It's just a name. Okay. Then erase it, huh? Okay. Clean it up. And what number are we on, dear? Uh, in terms of calls? Yes. 14. 14? Uh, Billodoo? I'm not sure. Billodoo. Billodoo? Uh, yes. Call it? Yes, please. Okay. 15. Hi, you're reading Matthew Billadu, field operations supervisor with Spectrum. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, but please leave me a detailed message after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, dear Matt. It's Glendora. Uh, I'm glad that you still have your job, dear. I have seen so many firings in Spectrum. In Charter, you just don't know. One in Connecticut, he'd been there 32 years. One in Buffalo, one in uh, Binghamton, one in Jamestown, one in uh, Lake, uh, not Lake George, uh, Middletown, New York. 
But anyway, your program is playing, and my friend watches it, and so we know you're doing a good job in Chatham, New York, dear. Grace and peace unto you. Bye-bye. Nice. Okay. Next is Bing TV. Yeah. Paul? Yes, please. Is this number 16? Yes. This is not Dale. It's yep. not available. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Uh, please call Glendora. 518-610-5810. Well, I guess that's it. Or a chat with Glendora at gmail.com. Everything here is super keen. I hope you're well. Bye bye. All right. They fired him and didn't uh, disconnect his phone. Hmm. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, next is B Kip, but that's just an email. B Cat. B Kip. Would you spell it, honey? B K I P P. Could you read the email to me? See if I can find out where it is. Is it? What's it say? B A C I P P four two at gmail dot com. And if you look that up on the computer, would it tell you anything? Um, uh, probably not. I could if search you for it, it in your email and see if you ever saw If you looked it up on the Hewlett Packard, would it tell you anything? Um, probably not. Why don't we hook up the Hewlett Packard? Hold on, I can search, I can... Put it into Google and see if anything comes up. Oh, you can? Yeah. Well, oh, you're smart to know that. No, they can't... They can't really tell you who the email belongs to because it would be like a violation of the person's privacy. So <laughs> you, say you got the email not from the person directly, but like they share their email with their doctors or something, and then the doctor has a list of a bunch of emails. Um, I don't know, like there are ways to look it up, but you probably have to pay for it, pay a service to look it up for you. We could try to send an email to the person and say hello. Yes, say, say, uh, Okay, hold on. One oh, call Glendora. This is good. Send an email to the person okay. and say, telephone Glendora on her new number. Okay. Yeah, this is something. Now we've got something. Thank you for the Swedish fish you gave me. Oh, no problem. You gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what would you like me to write? Please call Glendora on her new number. Five one eight nine three one zero two six six. Anything else? No. Okay. There we go, I sent that. Thank you. No problem.
Alright. Keep going? Yes, please. Alright. Uh, black? Uh, please. It gives me a good feeling that way you're cleaning up that phone. Good. What number is this, honey? Uh, black two. It's seven one six no, five oh, four. No, telephone call. Oh, um, it must be seventeen or eighteen. You still have a telephone number. Call Glendora, please. 518-931-0266. I want to know, Gary, are you happy? Glendora's very happy, and she ever fondly remembers how good you were to her and Gregory. And Gary, did I tell you that poor Gregory died at 57 years old on November 5th, Election Day, 2019, dear. Isn't that awful? Okay. Black three? Yes, please. Uh, is Glendora, 100% happy, 92 years old, no doctors, no medicine. Please call me. I care for you. I want to know how you are. 518-931-0266. All right. Uh, next is Blakeman. Blakeman. Pass. <laughs> Uh, BNN? Yeah, we were supposed to get an email from them and we didn't. Pass. Uh, Bob Geller? Pass. Bob K? Uh, excuse me, I'm Bob Geller. Dial. Okay. Hey, Bob Glendora. Hello. Uh, how are you, Bob? I'm okay, but you're talking to Sarah these days. No, this is why I called you, honey. Uh, I've called Sarah several times, and I haven't got an answer. Is she okay, dear? Yeah, she's fine. She's right here. 
She is. Well, ask her if she wants to talk to me. Okay. Hold on. Thank you, honey. Tip 20. I think so, yes. So, what's next, honey, is an app. Okay. And we have such fun with those Google hmm. apps. Well, I would say that Sarah doesn't want to talk to me, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Hi, Nora. Yes, darling. She said she'll call you back. She's in the middle of something. She wants to finish something, and then she'll call you back. Okay, dear. Okay. You want to hear a joke? Okay. Uh, Mommy, we had a fire in school today. Mommy, that's dreadful. Little girl. Well, we've been rehearsing for it all year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Bob. Grace and peace to you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. That was interesting, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we did a good job on telephoning, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think so. And we're really cleaning up our uh, contact. Yes. yes. Now, oh yeah, let's go to uh, what does it say? Anything? Does it say on or? No, I think it was off. Okay, I'm going to try. Does it say anything now? Yep, now it says it's recording. No. Yep. Well, I'll be. And I don't see any button, yellow light, do you? Yep, it's on. The orange light is on. And put put your finger on it, dear. Uh, right here. I'm covering it now. Yep. Put Glenny's finger on it. Uh, yep, there it is. That orange light. Thank you so much! No problem. So, we're doing apps, right? Yes. You want to go to Google Assistant? Yeah! That's, that's the one we're having so much fun with. Okay. If you ever see black jelly beans, mm -hmm. would you get them for Glenny? Sure. Sure. I like them better than Swedish fish. Yeah. If Swedish fish don't chew, mm. they don't break up. Now, when Garrett, Jer Jeremiah loses work, does he lose pay, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, that's bad. Are things hard for you right now? Um, no, we're, we're doing okay. Do you need money? No, we're, we're doing all right. He's got a sa some savings. Mm, that's bad. Yeah. All right. So some of the things you could uh, say, hey Google, set a pasta timer for ten minutes. What's that? You could ask it to set a a timer for ten minutes. You could say, remind me to exercise at a certain time. Um, yeah. You uh, could say, play NPR. NPR. News. What's that? I mean, play what? NPR, the radio program? No. No. Um, you could say... You can ask about uh, 
How many pounds in a kilogram? What? How many pounds in a... Okay. Hey, Google. How many pounds in a kilogram? One kilogram is equal to 2.205 pounds. Well, you're so smart, Google. Um, that was fun. What else can we ask her? Okay, so Google Lens, you can... Oh, don't get that on. Oh, please. No. Okay. That means she can make a video of everything that you're talking about, everybody you're talking to. Yeah. She, you know, if you and I right now were talking, she could make a video of it. Mm hmm But it's all about, it's all audio. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see here. You could say play relaxing music. No. Um, What time is it? I want to know when Sarah was there. What time is it? It's 3.24. Thank you. You can tell Google to open different apps. What's the next app to have for Google Assistant? Uh, Facebook. Um, what's the next app after that? Clean Master. <laughs> and the next app. By the way, are you on... Uh, According to... Oh, go ahead. Are you on uh, Senior or Junior? Senior. Yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, after Google, after Clean Master. Is, um... U H L S Mobile. Yeah, what is that about, please? Open that. Google, open that. Upper Hudson Library System. Oh, yeah. Open it, would you? Um, so it's Albany Public Library, is what I opened to. And we can search the catalog and request books. Oh, this is interesting. Keep reading. Um, you can look at online resources, events at the library. What are online resources? Um, Flip Mass, Flipster is digital magazines. New York Heritage, Heritage is a digitalized local history collection. But I think you'd have to be logged in. So, like, Pat probably uses this because she probably has an account that she can log into. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Anything else? Let's finish reading that, what else it does. And then that will be it for apps. Okay. Um, there's My Account, Manage Requests and Renewals. Um, my Account? What is that coming? I finished up a Hudson Library, I meant. Finish? It. Yeah, anything more contents that you can read me? Um, Hopper Hudson Library. Um, hmm. Most of the things I think you have to be logged into 
look at the books and stuff. Um, but if you were logged in, you could um, rent stuff from here. But you can enter a book and author and see if they have it. Okay. Well, thank you for that. No problem. Good now, now, could I have it? Hey, Google, send an email to uh, Jackson. Who do you want to email? Robert Jackson. Is that Robert Jackson or Jackson? Uh, it's Robert Jackson. Okay, do you want to email Robert Jackson? What's yeah. the message? Uh, dear Robert Jackson, I'm practicing on your email. Uh, there is a way that I can dictate a letter. Uh, and then uh, Google will put it on my email and then put it on your email. And then I can copy the letter on the uh, printer. Do you mind? So, that's a message to Robert Jackson saying, Are there Robert Jackson I'm practicing on your email? There is a way that I can dictate a letter and then Google will put it on my email and then put it on your email and then I can copy the letter on the printer. It'll be sent from your account at chat with Glendora at gmail.com. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending your email to Robert Jackson. Perfect, Google. Thank you. Nice. Okay. I got it. Would you go to YouTube Analytics, please? Sure. Is this interesting? Mm-hmm. I thought she did that one very well, didn't you? Yeah, she got the whole thing. Yes, she did. Alright, for YouTube, for the last 28 days, we've had 296 views. Well, that's good. Is there any other information? For the last 48 hours, 17 estimated views. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Does it tell you what they are? What the numbers are? Uh, what the numbers are? Mm, yes, what the number of the programs are or anything. Um, there's Glendora, Julia Dunn interviews. That's old, 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 old. Well, that one's had one view this past week. Um, Glendora, Pastor Peter Stonis, January 10, 2019. That one's had one view, one from May 28th, uh, 2017. Has had three views this week. Well, that's interesting. Uh, does it tell you what is up there now? No, probably... Uh, you mean... Facebook will tell that to you. Okay. Do you want to check out Facebook? Uh, yes. Would you go to Notifications Facebook? Sure. Okay. Uh, Michael... Oh, okay. Stephanie B. Bandozik posted in 518 Vegans. Open it, please. Uh, she said, using dogs for police work is animal abuse. Uh, mark it red, please. Okay. Jill Andros posted an update. Does anyone on here sell isogenics? What, honey? Does anyone what? Here, sell isogenics. I'm not sure what that is. No. Uh, market is red, please. Okay. Um, the Glendora Top Hat page has four new views. Oh, good. Do they tell you... What programs they are? Um, no, it's just that the Facebook page itself has four new views. Okay, thank you. No problem. And then...
18 people reacted to the photo of you with, with the kids that we posted a while ago. Oh, tell me the reaction. Um, Dan Pulfutzer yeah. and Carolyn Marie and 16 other people recently reacted to your photo. Boy, you're right about Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's a big response. Um, they all liked it, huh? Yeah. And then someone else in Five Winnie Vegans asked for if anybody knew a general practitioner in the Albany area who is open to plant-based vegan patients. Uh, oh, oh, really? That's cute. Yeah. Like and then red. Then there, someone says uh, La Empanada Llama in Albany has a whole vegan menu. A whole vegan one? A whole vegan menu. And who is it, honey? Uh, someone posted in 518 Vegans. Okay, hun. And that's about it for Facebook. Well, isn't that nice? Would you go to Twitter? Sure. Impressions. Tell me sure. if you have any interesting people. We have uh, 2,785 tweet impressions over the past 28 days, 22 visits to the profile, 171 followers, and 9 tweets. Would you read how many, uh, what was that the first figure, impressions, honey? Yeah, 2,785. That's 2,700? Almost 3,000, honey? Yes. Can you bookmark that in any way? or? Sure. You want me to write that down? Oh, you're going to write it down? Well, that's good, sure. too. Sure. What paper are you writing it down on? On the back of the email. Does that work? No. Okay. <laughs> no, dear. You don't want to do that. You want me to write it? I would take a another piece of paper, dear. Okay. And write it just as they told it to you. 2,700. Okay. Oh, good. Would you put that in think folder too? Sure. And then who was the last email that you entered? Um, Bethlehem TV. Oh, yeah. Yes. 
Would you put that in the thick folder too? Sure. Okay. All right. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. How about you? Are you warm enough? Yep, I am. I'm okay. a cool character. Hmm. What else would you like to do? Uh, do you have any messengers? Sure, let's see. Nope, nothing on messenger. Really? Mm-hmm. Now, would you tell me what time the sunset and the sunrise is tomorrow. Do you know that tomorrow is the last day of spring? Do you know that Friday is the first day of summer? Oh really? Sunrise, sunset, tomorrow. Tomorrow, sunrise is at 5.17 a.m. and sunset is at 8.35 p.m. Thank you, Google. Anything else? Uh, yes. What is the temperature tomorrow? Temperature tomorrow? Mm-hmm. In East Greenbush tomorrow, expect a high of 88 and a low of 66. Whoa. Thank you. 10% chance precipitation. Uh... How many calls, recent calls? Oh, you don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to give me a total. There was no problem for Gregory. He got it every time. Was it a different phone, maybe? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. And then Amanda had a terrible time with it, and then she found out she got it by scrolling. Do you like this hat? I do. It looks good. Count recent calls. How many do I think? No, I'm asking Google. Oh. Count recent calls. support. Open your device's phone app. Tap recents. Tap more. Call history. Tap more. Clear call history. When asked if you want to delete your call history, tap OK. You can see a list of calls you've made, answered, or missed. Dot dot dot. One. Open your device's phone app. Two. Hmm. Nope, I can't find it. Okie dokie. Uh, would you clean sweep? Sure. Thank you for doing that. No problem. How about think folder two? Okay. Are you feeling worse or better? Uh, I'm not feeling that great, but... On account of a, a headache or? Cramps, yeah. Anything we can give you to? No, that, I'm all right. How long will that last? Um, just a couple more days. 
All right, ready for thing folder two? Yes, please. Okay. Um, it's the emails that we just wrote down today. Yes, please. Uh, George Dernford three seven six zero Comcast dot net. What is his? Uh, it's uh, three seven six zero. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Mary Taylor transforming the new at gmail dot com. Now, do you want to put Mary Taylor into your addresses? Would you like that? Uh, write it down on another piece of paper and put it in no. the addresses. Oh, I see. This is all in one paper? Yes. Oh, don't read it to me, honey. Pass. Okay. Um, tweet impressions, last 28 days, 2,785 impressions. Yes, put that out. Uh, put that aside, please. Okay. Um, this bill from National Grid. Oh, how much? All right, let's see. Yeah. $117.77. Okie dokie. Will you process it and put it in the kitchen chair the way you do when you go to the post office to get a money order? Sure. And we want to put a stamp on it too? Yes, please. And a return address? Okay. And then you want me to put it in the chair? Yes, is it all ready to yep. go to the post office? Yep. Did you return the keys to the garage? And yeah, they're next to where the corridors go. The what? They're next to where the corridors go. Yes. Okay. You, you returned them then. Yes, I did. And you shut the garage door. Yes, and locked it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, there's a thinking of you card from Steve and Terry. Yes, I told you that they made their own cards, right? Right. Uh, would you put that in the yellow dog? Sure. What did you do with the uh, National Grid bill? Um, it's in the thing folder, too. No, you're done with it. Well, now. the one half of it is in the chair in the return envelope, and the other half of it is in the folder. But we're through with it. You okay. did it. Okay, so, we don't need it? Well, can you tell me, do we need it? No, I guess not. And uh, is there any... Surplus that you can throw away? Yes. All right, next is a... Oh, wait a second. Go ahead. National Grid, is, is it processed? Is it? Yes, it's on the chair ready to get the money Yeah, order. but I'm talking about the think folder. Is it out of the think folder? It is, yep. Where is it? In the recycling. There wasn't anything in there that we needed, right? No, I don't think so. 
You're sure of that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yep. Wasn't there a copy of the bill for us? Yes, that's what I was saying. You wanted to keep that? Yes, I would like that to go in the receipts. Okay. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. There it goes into receipts. Okay. And then the rest of it goes into recycle? I think so, yep. Okay. Alright, um... Then a thinking of you card from Margaret Ann? Yes, put that please into yellow dog. Okay. And then Spectrum. Total due 169.96. Yeah. Uh, they've lost it or the post office has lost it. But you remember paying Spectrum last month. I don't do. You? So do you want me to put this into receipts or leave it in Think Folder too? Uh, do you remember how you paid it? We paid it, it with a money order, didn't we, from the post office? I would think so. That's what I thought we did, yeah. Or did we do it over the phone? Um. Okay. Maybe we did it over the phone. I would keep that into uh, Think Folder too, please. Okay. And then there's the Alto New Telephone User Guide. Oh, how big is that? Uh, he's not that big, but he's sort of... What is it for? Of, for the new phone, the new landline phone. The new... Oh, the new... Oh, yes, that goes in the Think Folder too. Okay. And then this is the letter from Spectrum. We have not received your payment. If you've already paid your bill, please disregard this notice. If not, please pay. No, I would dump it. Dump it? We can put this one in the recycling? I think so. Okay. Received from Glendora $30 cash for medical alert June 2020, Pat. Uh, receipts. And then there's a recipe for sponge candy. Yeah, when are we going to get that one? You feel better? Um, yeah, I was. I looked a couple places for a candy thermometer or a cookie oh. thermometer, and I couldn't find one. Would you look into the uh, buffet mm -hmm. to the row of drawers to the left of the stove? Okay. And would you look in row three? You will see a candy thermometer, or you'll see a thermometer. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Is that what you need? Yep, that's, this is what I need. So I can take it with me? Yeah, if, if you bring back some candy. Cool, alright, I will. Now what are the ingredients again? Uh, the syrup? The only thing I need is baking powder. We got that for you. No, you guys got baking soda. Oh, you sure it's powder? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. It I calls... I it just for, don't think so. It calls for both, I thought. I think that's a typo. Mm, I don't know. I think it needs both. What? I think I think you need both. No, you don't need both. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's baking soda. Oh, no, so you're right. Okay, just baking soda. All right, so now you've got baking soda and you've got syrup. Yeah, I've got it all. Now that I have the... um. Candy thermometer. Now I can make that for you. What are the other two? Thank you. Uh, granulated sugar and corn syrup and vinegar. And you took the vinegar? Yeah. Well, good. Someday. Um, okay, so the next is top boxes, row 5, ace bandages, bungay. Row six light bulb. Wait, wait a second. What is it? What is that you're reading? The this uh, sheet of paper says top boxes. Row five ace bandages Ben Gay. Row six light bulbs vegan boxes. It's an inventory of yeah, the that's good. Keep going. Row seven laundry clean clothes. 
Row 8, empty. Row 9, blankets. Row 10, empty. You don't know where I could get some boxes that reams of paper come in? So I'm not exactly sure where. Mm, maybe staples? Yeah, no, they, they used to give them... If, if you go near staples yeah. or office max or... Yeah. Would you ask them if they would give you three boxes? Sure, I can ask them if I, if I go. But I don't go there that often. Mm -hmm. Alright, this note says Skasha on TV. Okay, pass. Uh, census 2020. Uh, yellow dog. Okay. Um, this letter from the White House and... Pass. Okay. The Twitter, uh, the social media statistics sheet. What? The social media statistics sheet. Your yeah, now you remember I asked you to put the other one aside? Yep. Okay. Would you tape all those together? Sure. When do you think Jeremiah can go back to work? Um, maybe in a, another month or two. What? Yeah, it takes a long time. He's got to rest it for a really long time. You sure? A month? Yeah, if he wants to avoid surgery, he's going to need to stay off it for a long time and then maybe for like two more weeks and then he can start doing some like physical therapy. But I don't know if he should go back to work for about another month and a half. Well, what about your income? Well, we'll figure something out. Well, I'll have to pray on that one. Yeah, I hope he gets better soon. What? Oh. I hope he's getting, hope he'll get better soon. Do you know how he injured it? Um, not exactly sure. He could have been from work or he thinks he injured it a long time ago and it never healed properly then. Oh, oh. one of those. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, this is medical alert contacts. Pass. Um, this note that says Walmart delivers groceries. No. A pass. Uh, Maddie Chap, Maddie Chip, oh my gosh. Maddie yeah. Chapin, uh, Sandy Blakeman, Wayne Collins, Kathy pass. Fish. Okay. You know what that is. Those are the numbers that the medical alert calls up. Okay, it's yeah. Supposing I fall and I'm disabled. Yeah. And I go to medical alert. Mm -hmm. The medical alert calls up those people and they come and help me. Yeah. No, that's not doctors, honey. That's just people. Yeah. All right, this is year highest to lowest sheets. Pass. Um, the menu for Bourbon and Wolves. Pass. Sarah, CBS News, Power of Attorney. Oh, what is it? Sarah, CBS News, Power of Attorney. Yeah. No. Let me explain power of attorney to you again. Okay. If you were to be my power of attorney, if I were unable to make decisions about money, mm -hmm. you would make the decisions. You would think in your mind, well, Glendora would say yes or she would say no. Mm -hmm. And it's a form that you get off of the uh, internet. And uh, it's a very simple form. And uh, you go to the bank, mm -hmm. and our banker, Tracy Pratt, for mm -hmm. years, she's been our banker for years, uh, she would make out the form with us, and then we would sign it. 
and then that would be it. You would be the power of attorney until I die. Mm -hmm. And when I die, everything stops. You're no longer the power of attorney. Oh. Uh, would you be interested in doing that? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, pass. Okay. Uh, National Grid, we connect energy news for electric and gas customers in upstate New York. Yeah, is there anything there that we have to know? Um, where to find assistance? Our customer advocates assist customers who may be struggling by connecting them to services available yeah. at National Get Group. Yes. Yes, is there anything that you can tear off there that we don't need and save what we need? I don't think you really need any of this. Yes, I do. How do we get assistance, right? Oh, yeah, maybe. Hello, Glendora. Hi! Looks like you already have dinner. Who is it? It's Pat. No, I don't like this dinner. Oh, you don't? No. Well, well I've, ha I've had enough of it. Let's put it that way. It was very good. Hi, Pat. Hi. Oh, boy. It's like Thanks. a nice salad. Do you want to share some of this with me, huh? Oh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Uh, right here, Pat. Okay. Oh, goody, goody. This is tomato soup. Nice. Here, yeah. is, this is the grilled cheese. Oh, goody, goody. And then on the other side of the grilled cheese are the apples, sliced apples. Yes, that's excellent. And here's tomato soup. Yes. Um, a spoon because I forgot to bring a spoon. Uh, I, isn't there a spoon right here, Pat? There's a fork. There's a spoon in the salad. Yes, where is the it? The salad is right to your right here, right there. Yes. So where, where do you want the soup? That's the, those are apples. The soup, oh. is, the soup is in here. You want me to move this over? Yes, please, Pat. And this is the soup here? That's the tomato soup. Oh, gee, that's going to taste good. And then the, to the right is the uh, um, sandwiches and the apple, the oh, grilled cheese. Is this a sandwich? No, that is the salad. And and if you go to the left of the salad is the soup. Soup. And to the left of the soup is the sandwich. Yeah. Okay? Don't you want to join us, me? Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Alyssa, would you get Pat the uh, potato chips? And it's in a cylinder for her to take home. Sure. I have to go to the post office. I have an important document to send out before they get closed today. So do you have anything you need to mail? We do. Okay, I can take that. We would, I, oh, we would love it. On the chair right there. Okay. Now you need a... The post office will give you $50 cash. Or get a money order. That's what. Take the um. Uh, oh, Pat, this is so good. Good. So, um, oh. how do you want me to get the money? This order? is so good, Pat. <laughs> good. Probably. Yeah. Take the card. So and get the a money bill, order. The bill is for a hundred and seventeen dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gee, Pat, this is good. I like the bread. Good. Okay, I will do this and I'll be back shortly. Oh, thanks, Pat. And are you going to uh, Honest Wait Friday night? Uh, either tomorrow night or Friday night. Depends on what, what's going on. Well, Pat, would you get me a different kind of vegan soap? Okay. The kind that you bought. It's so very soapy, honey. I it sticks to the soap dish, and I can't get it off. Oh. So I was going to try for a different kind. Okay, I'll see what they have. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, this is good. Got. It. How fortunate, Pat. Thank you. All right, she left. Should we keep going in the folder? Yes, please. All right, Big Bang Gravity wants to pull us back yeah. together. Yes, pass. Okay, um, characteristic sheet. Pass. Calendar for 2020. Pass. Uh, News Channel 13 banner pass. out. Pass. Uh, this is vegan cheese, honey. Nice, is it good? 
Yeah, why don't you taste them? Oh, that's okay, Glendor. Thank you, though. Seventh day, raccoons, porcupines, skunks. Yes. Is it time to start a new sheet? Uh, just about. But there's a little bit more room on here. Do we have more things to add? We do. What was the last one? Skunk. Skunk. Uh, dolphins? Okay. Dolphins, right? I'm not sure. You tell me. Dolphins? Mm-hmm. Whales. Okay. Oh, uh, securities. Securities? Uh, financial securities. Okay. Bonds and, and investments, huh? Okay. Anything else to add to this? No. Okay. And then there's a chat with Glendora theme song lyrics. Mm -hmm. A chat with Glendora theme song lyrics? Pat. Okay, and that's the end of Think Folder 2. Isn't that good? And you don't have to do Think Folder 1. Nice, okay. That puts us into watering the plant. Okay. Getting the in mail. Okay. Giving the, the recycle, these, uh, what's it called? The recycling and the compost? Yeah. Okay. And when you put this in the recycle, all this other, where is your thing? Uh, there's a salad that's in front of you. You want me to put that in the compost? No. I want to eat that. What about the leftovers from Timmy? Yeah. Okay. I go in the compost. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, oops. What's that? Are you all right? Yeah, that was just me being clumsy with some of the Tupperware. <laughs> this is the tomato soup, right? Let me see. Yes, it is. Yep. Thank you. Mmm. Yes. Go ahead. What what is it? I was going to ask you if you'd wash this spoon and hand it right back to me and I'll put it in the bag. Sure. Do you like tomato soup, dear? I do. All right. I put the salad in a different, in a bowl for you so that I could rinse my Tupperware and take it with me. Oh, and this is my bowl? And yes, it's in your bowl so you can keep it. It's, are are yep. you sure that's my bowl? Well, th that one's Pat's, but here. Oh, this is Pat's. Mm -hmm. 
but um, okay and you're going to take your bowl it's in between the salad is in between the soup and the sandwiches the sandwich is eaten you still have one more half of sandwich do i mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah gonna... feel around the container you're at the edge of it and that's the salad that you feel right there with a the fork in it and that's your soup but, but if you bring your hand to the left a little bit more, a little bit further, a little bit further left, and down, and back. Yep, there you go. Why don't I take that, honey, and empty the dish, huh? Yep, and there's still some apples in there, too. On the same dish? Put it yes. in the dish with your salad, please. The apples in yeah. the dish? Sure. Well, didn't nice how we had that bill ready to pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have bills that aren't paid, honey? Uh, not really. I think we do have to send out our electric bill, but it'll be just on time. Okay. I don't think it's late yet. Franklin always paid his bills to the senior. Well, that's good. That's a good way to have it. And you're not stressed out. For the recycle Monday. No problem. Who brings it back? I don't know. Maybe um Jeff, huh? Yeah, maybe. That's kind of what I was thinking. Or one of the other neighbors, maybe. I would think Jeff because it belongs to him and me. Okay, yeah, probably. You know any dog joke? Um, no, not really. Dog jokes? No, I don't know dog jokes. Do you know where the great big uh, William Wisconsin Weeping Willow is? No. Okay. Uh. It's near the property line of this property and the one out there. Okay. And it's almost down to the twin tree. Hmm. All right, let's put it this way. As you walk toward the garage. Yes. It's on the left. Oh, okay. And it's a huge willow tree. Yeah, I guess I do know. Yeah. Well, that's where dot com is buried. Aw. And then Madeline planted some iris flowers. Yeah. 
on top of it for Sweet. her grave. Sweet. And the iris are blooming. Oh, nice. All right, I am going to run out with the compost. I'll take the recycling and check the mail and water the plant. And how nice of you to wash the dishes. No problem. All right, I'll be right back. Appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>